which says if z varies directly as x and inversely as twice the cube root of y if z is equal to 8 and x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1 over 8 find the relation for y in terms of x and z okay let's do it now it says z varies directly as what x and inversely so inversely will now be over as twice that's two times the cube root cube root that's third root of y okay so that means z is equal to kx over two times the cube root of y okay so it says if if z is equal to 8 when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 1 over 8 so let's find um our k so that means um z is 8 8 is equal to this will be k our x is 4 that's 4 over we we'll have um 2 times third root of cube root of 1 over 8 okay so now to perform this we are going to have um 8 cross multiply because this is over 1 this will be 8 times 2 times third root of 1 over 8 is equal to um 4k okay so 8 times 2 will give us what 16 times third root of 1 over 8 now that's the cube root that's what 1 over 2 the reason is if you do 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 it will give you back what 1 over 8 so this will give us a um, 4k so 2 here 1 2 in 16 will give us what 8 so that means 8 is equal to 4k so to get our k we divide both sides by what um 4 8 over 4 is equal to 4k over 4 therefore here that means 8 over 4 will be 2 is equal to k that means our constant is 2 so it says knowing that your k is 2 find the relation for y in terms of x and y so we'll go back to our initial equation so that's z is equal to um z is equal to our k is what 2 then i'll write my x over 2 bracket third root of what y so from here 2 will cancel what 2 okay remember this is z so you don't confuse it with 2 so this will not be z when i cross multiply z times my third root of what y will be equal to what x when you cross multiply so this will not be remember we're looking for what we're looking for y so third root of y will be equal to what x over z so how do we get our y we um we take the cube of both sides so third root of y all raised to power 3 will now be x over z all raised to power 3 okay okay so this means now what happens here when you raise this to the power of 3 the root will go out it will now remain y which will now be x over z all raised to the power 3 so this is our uh, our y in terms of x and z okay so that takes us to question um, 2b which says factorize completely now in order to factorize this completely we'll have um we'll just open the bracket that will be 4b squared minus a b plus it says um a plus 9b all squared so i'm going to put a plus 9b twice minus a squared so this will be 4b squared minus a b plus now we need to expand this bracket a times a will give us a squared a times a b will give us um, a times 9 b will give us 9 a b this will be 9 b times a will give us 9 a b plus 9 b times 9 b will give us 81 
b squared minus a squared. Okay, so this will now give us 4b squared minus ab plus, this will be a squared plus 9ab plus 9ab will give us 18ab plus 81b squared minus a squared. Okay, so at this point, let's collect like terms. So 4b squared, do we have any b squared again? Yes, we have 81b squared. So 81b squared should come. Okay, then minus ab. Do we have anything that relates with ab? Yes, we have plus 18ab, 18ab. Then we have a squared minus a squared. Now from here, you can see that a squared minus a squared will give us zero. So 4b squared plus 81b squared will give us... um. 85b squared now minus ab plus 18ab so you can still say 18ab minus um, ab that will give us plus 17ab so now let's factorize this what is common now we we'll just have 85 and 17 now what number can divide through 85 and 17 you just have to test it now let's use our calculator let's see whether 85 can even divide 17 so 85 into 17 uh let's see oh that will give us 5 so i think 5 can factorize so we'll write 5 then what is common we have b squared we have a b so b can also come out so this will be into what um 17 b plus i'm uh, sorry Okay, so why trying to do this? We'll have um, 17 can go. So this will be 17b into we'll have um, 5b plus. Then we we'll just have a left here. So this is our final answer. When you open the bracket, 17b times 5b will give you 5b squared. Um, 17b times a will give you 17ab. So this is our final answer. So that will take us to the next question.